on a morning. It's kind of a big day today. I got a box in the mail from the uh, RV company. The General RV actually sent these down to me. And this is the stuff that I, uh, back in the other video, that I talked about stuff that was bad for the warranty. So first thing we got is we got all these buttons right here, right? So if I, if you look around the RV, you'll see they what they do is they use them to cover everything. It's actually, there's a bunch right here, right? And then up underneath those, they just kind of pop off. And you can see that's kind of the male side of the button. So that's what they're really using to cover. You know, there's probably, I don't know, a couple hundred throughout the RV. So send me a pack of three. Uh, I'll zoom in there if you're looking to get this. This is the actual part number for if you have a Winnebago Arrow and you're looking for the button covers. What I'm not sure about is, uh, didn't really say on here. But I don't know if they're probably, I mean, obviously they're color. These are like kind of the tan ones. So if that's what you're looking for. Uh, got this part here. Uh, threshold black. So I actually got this in the mail. This is a black one. So if you take a look at that, it's actually the wrong color unless it's somewhere else I'm missing. So again, these are parts. If you look right down here, if I can get in the picture, you can see, here it is. Do you see these? So I actually got a black one of those, so it's actually the wrong color. But not bad. Oh. And then the really big thing I got is, uh, got the screws included here, but I got the, the actual wrap around for the microwave. So this is the cover that you know, goes around the microwave and I'll show you in a second, but actually the microwave sits in here and I'll pull it out and show you, but actually the, the screws on the side here, which are included, but the microwave kind of hangs. There's actually a gap in the microwave. So this piece from the actual weight of the microwave, you know, shuffling up and down, it actually cracked the corner here. So let's take a look at the old one. I'll show you what the problem is. All right, so here we are on the microwave and you can see right here, I don't know if I can zoom in enough, but you can see the crack on it right there, right? So, all right, what we'll do is let's pull this microwave out and we'll uh, put the new uh, cover in. That way we should be set on that I do want to talk one piece before we do pull this out though right i think a key thing to remember is that if you have an rv you need to be kind of handy and not scared to do stuff so i've talked about it many times before but hey it's just a couple of screws right four screws we're going to pull them out and let's see what's going on behind there all right so nothing special about these screws really just some phillips not super big eh, pretty long it's got four of these around the corner and they got the special tap because they're going into the wood there. So, all right, let's move these top one up here. See what we got going on. And I will tell you when I first got this, there was a pretty crazy rattle. So I, I have had this off before to see what was going on behind there. But again, just these four screws, I guess I lied. There are actually six. So there's one down here in the middle also. So pull that one out too. Also key as with anything in the RV that make sure you're not over tighten these screws because if you do, just go into this thin wood. All right, so I got the screws out. Let's see how it comes out now. Yep, everyone's out. All right, look at that just kind of slides out and you heard that. So let me bring you in here and I'll kind of show you what I did before. There's kind of a little, I tried to fix it. I'll bring in, you can see that there was a crazy rattle before. So what I did is I went around, there's these four screws all around it. And I actually put a piece of cardboard in there thinking like, all right, maybe that'll stop the rattle. And I'll tell you what, it actually did. So when I rolled down the road, I don't know if you have the same problem with your coach, but there's those creaks and rattles and I, I've covered it many times before, but this was kind of a good fix. I just threw a couple pieces of cardboard in there. I put them in here and I also put them up here on the top, right? You see that? So that, that kind of reduces that. I really just eliminates that metal to metal contact. So, all right, let's pull it out and see what we got going on. Actually, I'm going to take these four out from the side. I mean, this is what we're trying to replace. So let's just see what else should move that out. Take my couple pieces of cardboard out here also. 
I do have a couple taped on the top there. All right. So let me grab the other side. All right. So that's going to be all four screws all the way around. We can just take this right off. Not an issue. And I'll kind of bring it up close to the camera and you can see right here where it's cracked, right? You see that? You see how it's broken? And that's really the weight of the microwave on that. So this other side is also cracked too. See where that's busted right there also? The bottom is also cracked here on the bottom too. You see it right there? It's pretty much all around except for this bottom corner over here was cracked. And the real reason it was done like that is because the this microwave is just heavy. <laughs> and I will tell you, the, I'll pull it out and let you look at it, but my noobness or not knowing about you know what really goes in an rvi thought like dude this is like a really special microwave you know it's designed for the rv but <laughs> i'll tell you the first time i took it out i was like dude this is like a, just a walmart microwave and i'll tell you from using the microwave it's not super strong so whatever you think it usually takes at home this is kind of a doubler right it takes twice as long to actually cook in this microwave so let's pull it out and take a look at it So there's kind of plenty of room here. Just slide it out. Set it right over here. And we'll take a look inside here, right? So this is the part that I was kind of surprised at. Like, ah, I mean, it must be something special, right? You know, it's microwave, it's in an RV. But guess what? <laughs> Literally, it's just the house microwave. There's nothing, nothing special about it, right? But now that we have it open, we can kind of take a look in here, see what's going on. Um... Yeah, this is what the inside of a cabinet looks like. We've covered it many times before, so just while we're here, probably do a little maintenance. You can see up in here, like, looks like some of these screws have started to come out, you know, just from the shake down the road. So let's uh, take a second, really tighten those up, see if I can get in there and tighten up those screws. But while you have it open, you might as well take a look at it, right? Anything that's loose, just go ahead and tighten it up. I mean, remember that you know i think kind of the key is you're just driving down the road and many people say that that everything is going to rattle loose so any chance you have something out look at it probably want to tighten it up also i don't know what this is going to right this is kind of concerning it looks like some type of ground or something like that so let's dig around in here and see what we can get going on because definitely doesn't look good right this i don't know where this goes it might go up here i mean the, I don't know, you can see up in there, but that's concerning. This is the bottom of the thing. There's a couple screws there that aren't even in anything, so. All right, let's get some screws up in here and see what we can do. Look at that, kid sock. All kinds of crazy stuff in here, so. All right, let me tighten a couple of these up and I'll get back with you. All right, welcome back. All right, I got that, everything cleaned out there. Tightened up all the screws, so we're good on that. Let's put the new cover or on the microwave and let's get it back inside. <clears throat> this around so you can see it so you can actually see up here there's some wear right here where it was going back and forth so the i would say first step is if you have the same concept of this microwave right take a look at the actual screws that are on the inside they're supporting it that's kind of what got me before so just take a look make sure it's good ah it doesn't look like there's an up or down to this if you take a look, you can see these fins go up, these fins go down. So wouldn't be concerned with that. Just take a look at the screws on the side to see if they line up. And they do. So, all right, what I'm gonna do here is, all right, same content for the other side. I'm gonna throw in a piece of cardboard here. Somehow I missed this one last time. So this one's a little bit thicker. Uh, and the piece here it is right here. Throw this in here. All right. Actually, luckily this came with some additional screws. So. That definitely helped us. Try to line this up. Push it up there. Let's see where we're at. Nothing's ever easy. You always need a couple extra hands, it always seems like, and try and put stuff together. Especially close quarters in the RV, it's not a... Not as easy as you think sometimes, but again, not super tight. Don't want to completely tighten it down all the way. Mm 
All right, good. All right, those look good for sure. Again, remember I got the four pieces around there. Also, you can see up at the top, right? So this, there is some little bit of wobble here, but I got those pieces of actual cardboard in there. Let's see the second one there, just to try to kind of stop that, so. All right, so I just put it right here, but one thing I, it looks like they did well, right, is I can actually plug it in before I get to try to lift it up, because it, I'll tell you, it is heavy. Down here, there is a single plug. Just throw it in, plug it in, boom. Not super difficult there, right? So let's see if we can lift it back up, put it back inside. tell you right i guess i'm getting old but it seems to me that it's definitely an awkward situation but this microwave is heavy so it probably would have been smarter to actually have someone on the other side but kind of that dude just likes to do stuff himself so all right slide it in looks like we're good let's put the screws back in it same concept with these screws so remember there's the six screws three on the top three on the bottom again don't over tighten them you end up being sad because again this is just really thin wood that they're going into just take your time line up the holes looks like i'm a little bit off here but it should be fine all right good on that one Again, like I said, not super tight, but they definitely need to be tight enough that when you're going down the road, it's not constantly shaking or rattling out. So I give it a little, little torque at the end, but not super hard. Just don't want it super hard, so. I know I keep saying that, but the real key is you, you don't you don't want to strip these out because that's definitely going to be some issues you're going to have going forward for sure. See if we can find the last screw here. Need to get me one of those magnet things for this. Don't need help. All right, last one found it. A little help from the daughter there. So. All right. So that's it, right? Not super difficult to put back in, kind of easy. I think the real key is just the, the awkwardness of moving around, but I mean, looks better. So hopefully we'll see if this design works and it's not, a, not super noisy going down the road.